Alright guys, how's it going? Just got the new capture card in today, which is the Hophog HD PVR. It's meant to be a real contender in the capture card market, so just going to do a quick unboxing of this. It does feel a bit heavy, so let's see what's inside this. Very neat packaging, look at that. Let's have a little letter from Hophog. Dear customer, thank you for purchasing the HD PVR. We are sure it will be a value, valuable tool for your home audio video system. And it just goes on to tell you about the software updates that are available and some of the key functions and some handy information you've got your disk there presumably for the software drivers, manual you've got another quick installation guide which opens up so much for quick installation there it looks like a bloody map. Okay. Don't know if you can see that well, but yeah, that is the size of the quick installation instructions. And in case you're wondering, maybe that's in different languages. No, that's all in English. Two sides. You've got your USB connector cable. And you've got your another big cable here. That'll be the audio video leads. And you have let me see this will be the adapter. Yep. batteries, that'll be for the remote and we have I think that'll be for the remote as well the infrared sensor I believe that's what it looks like and now time to look at the baby itself It does look a bit like a brick, but to be honest with you guys, it's not heavy at all. It actually feels really light. I mean, I was thinking I'll probably weigh about a kilo or something, but it's actually very light. Looks very nice. Has the back of it. So you can see I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. So you've got all your audio video outports. Got the USB connector there, the power adapter goes in there. This was ordered on uh, play.com. Got this for around £170. And 
it is a bit kind of pricey, but it is HD, so it's got a lot of power in there. And from all the reviews I've read on it, it's supposed to be really good. So I will be testing this out myself, and I'll give you my own review on this later on, and possibly do a little guide as well, showing you guys how to run it with PC, and it should be straightforward. Again guys, thank you for watching.